Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, is a food haul and a meal plan. I'm going to show you everything that I picked up in our shop today. This is from Lidl. Been going there the last few times, um, but this week is a little bit different. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you'll know that I have recently switched to... Well, I don't even know what you can call it, switched to. I have recently been cutting down on dairy, like massively cutting down on dairy and massively cutting down on meat. So the way I've been describing it is like 90% vegan. Um, so basically trying not to have meat, trying to find like loads of different alternatives. I would love to eventually go vegan, but I don't think that I could ever commit fully for things like if you're out for dinner or being on holiday and just having like the odd little treat here and there. Um, but I feel like that's not enough for me to then say, well, I might as well just go full throttle and always have dairy and always have meat. So I'm kind of meeting in the middle and I'm doing like this 90% vegan thing when I'm trying my best to just be vegan as much as I can. <laughs> and I'm just overall trying to be healthier and having more fruit and veg and eating a bit cleaner and having less processed foods and stuff. So, yeah, so I'm just trying lots of different things and seeing what I think. Um, so it's a very gradual thing. But yeah, this is what I got from Lidl this week. Um, I spent about £70 and this is everything that I got. Okay, so let's start over this side. This is all the fresh stuff that I want to get put away. So I got some strawberries. I want to try and make sure that I've always got either strawberries or raspberries. So I picked up two packets of strawberries. I got two packets of strawberries and a packet of raspberries. I actually prefer raspberries to strawberries as anyone else. I feel like strawberries get the most attention and everyone seems to love strawberries, but raspberries are just amazing. Um, I got some pears. These are the speciality pears. I don't know if they're any better than the normal ones, but like I've said before, Oliver loves pears. So I got some of them for him. Also got some of the smaller pears, fun size pears, just for ripening um, over the next week or so. So I feel like these will be ready to eat. These will maybe be more ready towards the end of the week. I got some baby corn and sugar snap peas because I've been making stir fries and throwing them in and I feel like they're the best bit of it. I got some bistro salad just for putting in wraps. I got some cherry tomatoes. I'm going to try and do like a tomato risotto and cherry tomatoes are always a good ingredient in that cherry tomatoes and basil and I'm not sure if I'm going to try and do it in the slow cooker. I'm going to try and find some kind of recipe online for that. Got some mushrooms as well. When I've been trying to do vegetarian recipes, a lot of the time mushrooms will kind of be in place of where you'd normally have meat and um, just because it's a bit more filling so always make sure I buy mushrooms now. Lots of bananas because I have two kids that are obsessed and I got some peaches as well. I got some peppers, some garlic. Can you believe I forgot garlic last week and I had none in the whole week. I really, really missed it. Um, and I got some basil as well. And then I got a big tub of Philadelphia. Don't think I could go a week without this either because the kids always have it in their pasta or they'll have like a wrap with Philadelphia. They love it. Um, I got some Alpro yogurt. I don't know if I've tried this before. I feel like I must have done. But yeah, apparently people are saying that that's a really good dairy-free yogurt to try. So I'll give that one a go. I got some more almonds milk. I haven't tried this brand before that I can think of. It says it's sweetened, so I don't know how it's going to be. Um, I'll try that one out. I got some milk. I got some... I've never tried this before actually. This is cold pressed juice. Apple, orange, passion fruit, lemon juice is blended with mango and carrot purees. Um, Andy's mum makes the kids juices all the time and it's always things like celery and oranges and just really healthy stuff and they love it. So I thought I'll get them a couple of these as well so we never run out. They call it special juice <laughs> um, and they love it. So I got one of these. I think I got another one as well in here somewhere. Um, I picked up these plant-based desserts. I've tried these before and I'm sure they were really good. I, I feel like I've tried it in a different flavour to this, but I'm going to see how these are. I will let you know. got the kids just two of these cheap little pizzas, which are always good to have. Always a wee good like lunchtime thing or with chips or whatever for dinner. So I've got some of those. I got some Cathedral City cheese. For Andy's lunch, I got just normal ham. I got some burgers for the kids and I got some chicken. 
so I might try and do this in one of the Maggie chicken bags and just cook it up so we've got it in the fridge and um, so that Andy can have it unwrapped and so that the kids can have it and stuff but yeah I'll see I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet and um, I got the kid I got the kids some fromage free yogurt I would say the thing about Lidl that I don't like is the fact that they only seem to have really sugary uh, yogurt for kids like I feel like these are really high in sugar could be wrong but no they are it's like the second ingredient um whereas when I go to Sainsbury's or somewhere else I can get the little yo's you know the wee ones which are just like fruit and yogurt so that is an annoying thing about Lidl um I also picked up sweet potato pakora by gosh this is like vegan pakora and it's really really nice lots of people told me to have um, things like this on wraps because I was stuck for veggie options for lunch and yeah apparently that, this is really good I have tried this before but I've never put it on a wrap so but I'm pretty sure that will be really good moving over to this side we have the other juice that I picked up so this one has apple red grape beetroot lemon juices apple cherry strawberry banana raspberry and carrot purees so loads of goodness in that I got myself some cotton pads I got some dried couscous which you just add water to i got some dark chocolate 70 percent with raspberry which i thought sounds amazing and it's a little bit better for you than having proper like milk chocolate i'm going to try and break this up and make like little bags of like fruit and nut mix got these moroccan spiced falafels again just for wraps or like wee things to put in with salad or whatever just to bulk it out i got the kids some rice pudding up this so this was in like their veggie vegan section chocolate shot orange spice so you can put it in your hot chocolate and 13 calories per teaspoon it's plant-based i just think it looks like it'll be pretty good it says you can put it in porridge pancakes fruit and yogurt i think it looks really good i'm going to make a coffee after this and put this on top i also got some microwave rice i got some low sugar granola i've been having every single morning just now i'm having yogurt with berries and granola and I'm obsessed with it like I really really like it but it's hard to find granola that has low sugar so I saw this one and I thought I would give it a go I also randomly picked up this from the middle aisle so these are just little measuring cups I was hoping that they would be cups like American sizes because a lot of the recipes will have like cups on it but they're not they have mils on them so it's like 125 mils 250 mils which I, th I still think that will be really useful to have. Pick those up, they're by the brand Ernesto. Picked up some wholemeal pizza breads. I got some rye breads. Again, I just keep seeing this on like veggie options. Everyone always has rye bread. I think it's because, I think it's, yeah, it's vegan. So it's vegan bread and yeah, it just seems to be the healthier option. Who knows, I'll give it a go. Also got some of these protein balls, which I've bought before. They're really filling and they're just really tasty got some more rice and I got some flash bathroom spray because we're running low also picked up some eggs oh my goodness I need to get these in the freezer these are the little ice lollies for the kids after their dinner in the last little section I picked up some kitchen foil I got some rice cakes for the kids little snack drawer um, they'll have that with Philadelphia or butter. Oliver likes a rice cake with butter, which is so odd I got some wraps for myself and I got some bread also I will show you what I got in Asda because I went there for some of the recommendations that people had given me. So I got the Applewood vegan cheese. So this had been recommended a couple of times and I have to be totally honest, vegan cheese does not sound appealing to me whatsoever but I'm willing to give it a go and see how it is. So I will let you know how I got on with that. Heck sausages, I love heck usually and these ones are vegetarian sausages so these ones are made with beetroot carrot sunflower seeds and horseradish and they look like normal sausages don't know how they'll be again make sure you follow me on instagram because i'll review all of these wee things as we go um, i also picked up these ones yesterday before i got the gosh one so i've got a good supply of falafels and last but not least i got this vanilla cocoa yogurt so it's dairy free so it's all about coconuts um, coconut milk fermented with dairy free cultures and vanilla and it's really really nice it actually just tastes like Miller Lights the coconut Miller Lights um, so I've been having this with my breakfast granola and it's really really good I really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already if you want to hear more about how I'm changing my diet and trying to be more healthier then make sure you're following over on Instagram because I'm sharing things like that 
all the time and yeah it's been really really interesting over the last few weeks so i will chat more about that on instagram and i'll see you next time bye